What is up, nerds? Um, my name is Jackafy, and I'm a little bit sick and tired. But you know what else I'm fucking sick and tired of? Constant Path of Exile 2 crashes. And this seems to particularly always happen when the game is loading maps. Now, although I'm a nerd, I'm not like a, a wizard programming, fixing fucking computer nerds. But what had ended up happening to me was, and this was on two separate computers, one AMD and the other being Intel. Now, it didn't matter. This crashes seem to still happen. Now, both these computers have fairly good hardware. What they do seem to share is NVIDIA. Now, there is a host of, you know, reasons for this or solutions, and I'm not going to fucking promise you any sort of fix because I think the only goddamn fix is for GGG to literally put out some kind of patch. You can read thousands and thousands of threads of people experiencing this same fucking issue. And it's not even just like an issue of you having to reboot the game. You have to reboot the whole fucking computer. And the only way to reboot the computer is by literally powering it off manually, by like holding the power button for a few seconds and completely fucking, you know, resetting that way. And not only that, but you know, yeah, sure, software can't cause hardware issues, but powering up your computer like that can cause issues to the hardware's memory. So it's absolutely fucking disgusting that I have to literally do this. I think I've done this at least 50 fucking times. The reason for the hard crashes where you have to reset your computer is that it's taking 100% of the CPU you know, usage or memory, thereby providing no cores to the operating system so that when the game crashes, all that memory is used on the game and none on the operating system, which allows you not even to use fucking task manager to get the fuck out of there just to close the program, thereby having to do a fucking full manual reboot. Now, I, again, I'm not a technical nerd. I don't even know what kind of damage I'm doing to my system by doing that, but I'm sure it's not fucking healthy. And believe me, I tried everything. Again, both computers have different uh, CPU chipsets being Intel and AMD. I have recently reformatted both computers. Um, I had tried to downgrade the Windows update away from 24H2. I have tried to limit the game's CPU usage. I have tried to completely re-download NVIDIA drivers. I also played around with the NVIDIA settings like enabling the shader cache to 100 gigabytes, you know, removing the app data removing the config files. Like, trust me, I, I tried all types of fucking shit, and there seems to be three main things that help. The first thing that helps, and this will not solve the issues of the game crashing, but it will solve the issue of you having to fucking reset your computer manually or reboot it. And the way that works is you have to check off CPU core one and two in your task manager settings thereby allowing when the game crashes, at least you have those two CPU cores devoted to the operating system. So you can go into task manager and reboot the game without having to again, fucking reboot the computer from scratch and having it too hard freeze. The second thing you can do is change the rendering technology from DX12 down to Vulkan or DX11. This will again cause major frame rate issues. So then you'll have to combat that with changing some of the uh, you know, the, the video settings are lowering them. So that's a that's complete shit. And the third and more optimal way is you will be actually turning off the multi-threading engine in the video game options anytime you go into a new map. So the best way again is to keep DX12. As soon as you head into a map, turn off multi-threading, then turn it back on as you're playing the map. And of course, to fail safe your computer from constantly crashing and doing a manual reboot, you can again ensure that CPU cores one and two are checked off and therefore that memory is devoted to your operating system. So the first thing you wanna do is simply right up off the bat, open task manager, then you wanna load the game. Um, there's moments where I swear to fuck, you can't even get through this fucking portion of the screen. So here we are praying just for us to get into the main menu here. Um, more often than not, again, you'll have a better chance of doing this. Once you hit the load screen, you're going to go to task manager again. 
uh, you're going to go here into the details section. You're going to find the Path of Exile Steam.x. You're going to press Set Infinity, and then you're going to uncheck CPU 1 and CPU 2. This does not, again, solve the issue. This only makes it so that you can actually reload the game and go into your task manager and end the process uh, through, through the task manager instead of having to, again, manually reboot the computer. So this just saves yourself from having to fuck your hardware or whatever goddamn issues happen from a hard reboot, right? So once this is set, at least you know you're protected from doing the hard reboot. You can go into task manager because two of those CPU cores are allotted to the operating system, right? So here we're going to load in, right? Now prior to loading in that map, what you can do is simply, again, going into your um, graphics settings. You're going to go down and then you're going to turn off engine multi-threading, okay? Um, now, again, you're going to have some frame rate issues with this, but all we want to do is try to get into a map. And then once you're in the map, you're going to go back to options. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous that we have to do that. You're going to enable multi-threading, okay? And you're going to play the game, right? And then anytime... <laughs> You're right, anytime you want to go back, you know, you disable the multi-threading, right? Save. The locking of the game seems to not lock when you're going into hideout, but every time that you're going into a map, and especially if it's a new map. So, you know, I would probably, instead of like having to do this constantly per every map, right? I would just simply do it anytime you load a new map. And then if you find that you are freezing going into your hideout, or whatnot, just kind of keep keep taking this off and on. It, it's fucked, right? This is, but this is all we've got. This is all we've got. So again, there you have it. I mean, is it a fix? No. Uh, but ultimately, I hope that you know, being able to remove the cores one and two stops you from having to do a hard boot. Uh, and I hope that it, disabling multi-threading upon entering a new map load. Right, not so much going back to the hideout. I hope that resolves some of the issues, right? And at least that'll circumvent you from having to play fucking Vulcan and DX11, which is utterly unplayable. Again, I ran this on an AMD uh, chipset, an Intel chipset, same issues. Both of them shared the NVIDIA, but again, I have reset drivers, I downloaded previous drivers, I have, you know, reduced and, and increased the shader cache to 100 gigabytes. I have, you know, removed NVIDIA Reflex, right? There's, you know, I have, uh, again, went on Direct X 11 and Vulcan. That seemed to reduce crashes, but then again, you're then just playing an unplayable piece of shit. So it has to do with GGG and how they programmatic, pro fuck, programmatically set this whole multi-engine threading and how that's causing CPU issue lockouts and, and having CPU usage soar to 100% thereby locking the game. There's just something fucking there going on. So Christmas is over. Uh, GGG, I hope to fuck that you find uh, a solution for this or a patch because I swear to God, it is just unacceptable. I don't give a fuck that if it's early access or not. And, and it's not just me. There, If you research it, uh, I mean, imagine if you're fucking looking up for a video that you're looking up for a solution, and that's why you're watching this video in the first place. And I'm sorry I had no solution to provide you. That solution is on their end. But hopefully you learned something and at least uh, some fucking workaround. Anyway, guys, this was a quick one. This was just my way of sharing my frustrations. Um, and, and that's it. So hopefully that helped. I'll catch you guys on the next one.